We request that you keep all of your curriculum and assignments and quizzes and everything a student needs in order to um, complete their work in the content area. Think of the content area as the true homepage, the main page that students should stay in the entire time. Um, so in order to do this, you're going to have to create the content like quizzes and assignment drop boxes first, and then come into the content area and start to add those to different things called modules. So think of modules as units. This is a test course, so you can see there's a little bit of us um, doing some testing in here, so ignore that. But a module, think of it as a unit, whether it's an actual unit or you do it something by a timeline like, let's say you have one module per week. Um, or it's something based on topic or maybe group work, etc. So um, usually it's by unit, sometimes it's by week. Those are the kind of two common uh, things we see in course development. So I wanted to show you how to create modules and submodules, and then later on we'll talk about how to start adding material into those modules. So the first module that you should have for your course is the course information module. This course information module should have your syllabus and any other things that somebody needs to have for the course. So um, I put my syllabus in the course information and I usually put a link to the software my students need for the courses. So anything you need like that, supplementary materials or even helpful resources could be in this course information module. Now, a lot of people also put their WebEx link in the course information module. I would put it there, but I also would make it its own module and then just have a link out to that module or a link out to the WebEx meeting room because this is how the tutorial video we created for students, we're showing them that it's at that top level. We don't wanna bury it in, in any way, shape or form. Some people would assume it'd be in course information, so that's why I'm saying put it in there as well, but I would definitely put it as a top level right underneath course information. Then I would start with unit one, unit two, etc. You can see here that this is my unit and then it talks, it names the topic of the unit. That is a really good way to organize a structure for your students so they understand how to move through it systematically. The only drawback to that is you can see as you rearrange your modules, the numbers get out of whack, but you can um, rearrange them again by doing this or you'll just have to come in here and um, rename the unit. So if I wanted to actually have this as unit three and this is unit two, whatever, um, either way I can click on that unit and come up here and click the drop down menu and change the title, edit the title, so it can be renumbered. So um, I'm gonna show you how to create these units. You go down to the very bottom of this sidebar and you just type in the unit name. So I like to go week by week, so I'm gonna say week one. Um, and this is a course I'm gonna start creating on how to build online courses. So this is going to be creating your syllabus. And then week two, is going to be um, setting up your D2L shell. Okay, so again, if you wanted to move these, you can grab this move handle and you can look for the drop bar and this will put it on top of this module. If you hover over a module, this will make week two the sub module of week one, which we don't actually wanna have happen. So just be aware of that. So if I go into week two, you can see that I can add a sub-module here, or I can add it here and I can say, okay, uh, creating a banner image. And this is going to be a part of week two, so I'm gonna click and drag this and ho hover over the week that I want this sub-module to appear in. And then as I go down, you can see it's, a, it's indented. So if I click on week two, you should be able to see um, uh, this creating a banner Im image submodule. So if I had another one, you'd see this little chunk repeated down here. So let's just do that. Adding an announcement. Okay. So again, I want this to be in week two. And now if I click on week two, you can see two indented submodules. I'm going to reorder that one. So I need the drop bar. All right, so now if I go into week two, you should be able to see there are two sub-modules and anything I create for adding an announcement would show here, anything I create for adding a banner image would show here.